Okay, hello guys. This is Vegan Mama Mia coming to you with another rant from my little porch that I have in front of my house. Um, this rant is going to be about Freely, the banana girl. Okay, um, I was watching some of her videos today, and they are so off the wall. So I'm calling Freely out about some of the videos that she's made. One of the videos is when she says to carb up. And for breakfast, she's eating 10 mangoes or 20 bananas in a smoothie. And then for dinner, she's eating bowls of noodles and rice and potatoes. And she's telling everyone, you can do this. Anyone can do it. But that's not true. You cannot do that unless you exercise like Freely does. And then again, even if you exercise like Freely, you may not be able to maintain your weight like she does. She does a massive amount of exercising. And she can't say she doesn't. To be able to go up and down the mountain that she's been going up and down in Thailand every day and going on the bike rides that she does, she has to be um, very experienced on the bike and she also has to be very fit. And that's the reason why she's eaten those massive amounts of food. She wouldn't be able to do it, there's no way. The normal person cannot just do some exercises during the day. And even though the food is vegan and plant-based and uh, vegetables and fruit, you still cannot eat that massive amounts. And the kids or the people that watch the videos try to force themselves to be able to eat as much as she does they eat until they can't eat anymore and that's utterly ridiculous that's not the way you have to eat being a vegan to maintain your weight yes you have to eat more than you would normally because it's vegetables and potatoes and rice but not massive amounts you don't need to do a 20 uh a smooth 20 banana smoothie that's impossible you're gonna walk around with a belly like this all day do I think she does that every single day no I don't believe it and I was watching one of your videos today banana girl where you said and you don't exercise every day you take off three or four days a week I don't believe that neither Maybe on those days you're taking off, if you do take them off, you're not eating like that. There is no way. You're riding like you're, you're riding in a marathon. Yes, you can. If, you, if you're doing that all the time, you certainly can eat a massive amount of food. But not if you're just doing everyday life. So that's one thing I'm ranting about. The second one I'm ranting about when I'm going through the videos and I'm seeing these young guys saying they got bisectomies because you guys told them that it was the right thing to do. Are you kidding? Are you kidding to tell them that's the right thing to do? They may not want babies now, but they sure may want babies when they meet somebody that they love and they decide 
that they want to start a family. For you, you said in your video, I hate kids. So why would you want to have kids? And you couldn't have them anyway if you were with, with Dorian Ryder because he had the bisectomy. So how can you tell these young guys to go out and have bisectomies? You're ruining their whole life by telling them that. If somebody really truly doesn't want babies, that's one thing. But to go out and tell them because you know that they follow you. You know anything you guys say they think is a good thing. They think you guys know what you're talking about. You and Dorian Ryder. So I think you've went and messed up a lot of people's lives when you don't have the right to do that. Not only that with the with the visectomies that you're do yet you're telling them to do. I listened to another video where you're telling a young girl on the internet she's saying how do i become a vegan and you're telling her to how, how to become a vegan and you say well what if my parents won't allow this you tell her if she if they try to force her to eat meat or dairy products call the authorities turn them in turn them in for what do you know the majority of people are raised uh eating dairy, drinking dairy, and eating meat. That's how we're brought up. Do her parents think they're doing something wrong? No. No, because that's their way of life. That's how they were taught. So don't be given motherly advice if you don't have children and you don't want children. Because if you had children and somebody was telling your child to call the authorities on you because you're giving them milk and dairy, I don't know if you realize it or not, but as a, a new baby, a year old, they start maybe nine months old sometimes. That's the first time they have re real dairy. The other times they're having formula which is the majority of the time it comes from dairy it, it has a milk base in it so from the time they're newborn if they're not breastfed they're drinking dairy and that's the way we're brought up so don't be calling any parents out or telling people to call the authorities on their parents for doing the only thing they were taught to do as they were growing up. Now, if you want to give advice and say, well, maybe, you know, you could talk to your parents and try to get them to understand that this is something you really, you know, you, you don't want to do. You don't have a taste for meat and uh, you, you don't want to drink dairy and stuff, maybe they'll understand, or maybe they won't, because they don't have the money to go out and buy her certain things that she may need to become a vegan. I can remember telling my mother from the time I could talk, I didn't like meat. I didn't like anything about meat, but I had to eat it because my mother believed that meat was good for you. Protein was good for you. So she certainly didn't think that she was hurting me in any way. And most parents, believe me, do not think that way. They think they're giving their children the food that they need. So before you go calling people out, do, do a little bit more research. You're from Australia. I bet your mother fed you meat when you were growing up. Unless your mother was vegan, which I doubt. And even with telling the girls how to eat like you eat or say that you eat. Some of them put on weight 
20, 30 pounds. And you admitted it yourself in one of your videos that you put on a lot of weight in the beginning. But then you realized what you had to do. You had to exercise till you couldn't exercise anymore. And riding the bike for you was the key. But guess what? Not everybody can do that. Certain people have lives. They have to go to school. They have to take care of children. Children that they love. Children that they wanted. You have nothing to do. You and Harley, what do you do? You make some videos. And you're talking about have a visectomy. We have so many orphans in the world. We do. And that's true and it's very sad. Are you donating to the orphans? You're telling everybody to have visectomy so they can't have any more children and you feel bad for all these orphans that you keep talking about. I'm going to really guess that you give a lot of what you make from YouTube to these orphanages. I'm even going to call you out on being a vegan. What do you do for the animals? Are you doing anything out there? Are you supporting any of the animals out there in any way? I hear you talk about it. I hear you talking about uh, videos and how the animals are getting their throats cut and they're raping them and they're, yes, they are. And this is all very true. This is a, a, a harsh world sometimes and you know, we have to be able to think about what they are doing to the animals. But it's really not brought to our attention until we, as most of the time, adults get out there and realize, we get out in the world and we realize what's going on. And then we have the right to think about what we want to do and how we want to change it. But you're one of the top YouTube people on YouTube. So you're making lots of money. So Dorian brags about all the time. What are you doing? Just tell us uh, just two things. If you can't do two, tell us one thing that you're doing to promote veganism in the right way, not just, you know, run in your mouth but what you're really doing and what you're doing to help the animals. Not only that, I'm a little sick and tired of hearing you when you see somebody fat, call them out. That's ridiculous. How dare you? You were fat at one time and you say all I'm doing is trying to help them. That's not how you help somebody that's overweight. You just went into a mall and the young girls, you're walking up to them and calling them fat and uh, they're obese. How dare you? How dare you ruin somebody's life by saying and doing that? Before you can go out and call people names, you better think about it. And even after you think about it, you can't do it. That's wrong. And I'm here to tell you that's wrong. So you need to stop. If you want to continue with your videos, think about how you're doing them. Stop calling people out that are fat. That's being a vegan? No, that's not being a vegan. Nobody even wants to come to the YouTube vegan channels because guys like you or women like you have made it so disgusting that they don't want to be involved with it. And if they say anything you guys call them out what pigs what slob you're a murderer no that's not the thing to do talk to them and tell them why they shouldn't eat meat but certainly don't call them out and say all nasty things to them that's not the way you help somebody so i'm calling you out freely i want to see what you can do to change the world, to change the world in the ways that you're always talking, that you're uh, 
a supporter of uh, veganism that you um, uh, talking about the orphans what do you do for the orphans tell us since you make videos about the orphans tell us what you do love to know I'd love to know and stop destroying all these young men's lives by telling them to have bisectomies that's horrible rethink yourself freely rethink what you say to these people you're not gonna lose your YouTube channel because you're nice that's not how it works but try a little kindness before you're so nasty with everybody. I'm Mama Me and I'm out. I'm just disgusted by you.